Today's video, I'm going to talk about some ways of how to lower creatinine naturally. Uh, ways that I have experience with and what I recommend to a lot of our clients and customers that come to us at HealthyKidneyInc.com. So it's a good video. Make sure to subscribe if you have it. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, and kidney survivor, thriver. I've been living with a transplant for 18 years, 11 years longer than it was supposed to last. And in that time, I've had a lot of complications with the transplant where I started out at very high creatinine, it lowered, it went back up, I lowered it again. So here are some ways that I, that I recommend and what you can do. So first off, diet. You have to do diet. You have to do something of a kidney-friendly diet. There's no other way. So when it comes to your body, there's going to be things that you have control of that you can do like diet. And then there's things that... Uh, you don't like seeing, but you would see a proper nephrologist to get proper medications, but, but let's talk about diet. So when it comes to diet, there's a lot of kidney therapeutic diets. First off, you have to avoid and limit sodium salt as much as possible. That's just a given. Your sodium and salt should be under 2300 milligrams a day total, and that's from all sources. And you're going to get a lot of sodium from uh, packaged products, so that's where you really want to look. You want to avoid things like fast food, junk food, because they're always going to have high sodium. So lower sodium as best you can. Really want to minimize it. Now with diet, you want to have a lot of fiber in your diet. You should be aiming for 20, 25 grams a day of fiber from fruits and vegetables. Uh, if you're restricted on potassium, you might want to look at kidney friendly uh, fruits and vegetables. That's what you're going to want to have. And you got to drink plenty of water, lots of water, at least half your body weight in ounces, or if that's too much, uh, eight, eight ounce glasses per day of water. So that's at least 64 ounces up to 70. Make sure you're not fluid restricted. So check with your doctor uh, and you should have a nephrologist, which I'll talk about in a moment. And in terms of diet, we almost always want to lower protein to some degree because okay? protein puts extra stress on the kidney. So lowering protein, very beneficial, helps to improving the creatinine. Um, if you don't want to lower it, you should switch to more vegetarian, plant-based proteins. And as I give you all these recommendations, we have over 200 videos that you should reference a lot of these things if you're not familiar with, like the fiber, uh, the diet, so you can really learn a lot to help yourself. So lower the proteins. Uh, depend how much depends on you and where you're at with your health your albumin levels which we talk about in a previous videos but you have to do the diet you have to okay that's number one second you should get the opinion of three nephrologists okay even if you your doctor is the head of some big uh, teaching hospital somewhere it doesn't matter get three opinions because it's going to vary greatly on the information you get and everybody's uh, nephrology specialty experience study is different than the other person and they will may address different areas that another nephrologist may address so three nephrologists because depending on the severity of your kidney disease you're gonna need some medications to help control it uh, and if there's a lot of damage you need more medications uh, and there's some areas that we just can't address naturally so three nephrologists opinions very important to at least get your medication management so the way we want to look at lowering creatinine is doing everything you can in your power and then uh, conventional medicine using all the right things. Uh, so we got the diet, finding a nephrologist. I spoke about the fiber. Fiber is a portion of plant material uh, that's not digested. So it goes throughout your body through your uh, digestive system, small, large intestine, and it's grabbing kidney toxins and helping the environment uh, of the colon, which helps with excreting more of those kidney toxins. That's why it's so important to make sure you get adequate fiber. Now, in other videos, we, talk, we do talk about going up to 50 grams of fiber per day using a, a supplement, a fiber supplement, preferably a soluble fiber supplement. But you can reference those videos also. Uh, they'll be in the description. I think they're called How to Slow Down Kidney Disease, the number one way to slow it down. So take a look at those. Uh, with the fiber, Okay, we have probiotics, good bacteria for your digestive system. You want billions of these, okay? Healthy, good bacteria that you can get uh, from some food products, but you definitely want to take a supplement form. Uh, we have a lot of videos that speak about probiotics. So that's also an area you want to address. And then another one that's very, very important is uh, watching that acid buildup. 
Uh, acid buildup is the CO2 on your blood work, making sure that you're not um, have too much acid buildup or what's called metabolic acidosis. We have another link in the description that talks about that, but making sure by your blood work, looking at your CO2 levels, that you're not too acidic and how to address that. So those are the areas I recommend starting with if you're new to kidney disease or you're looking to lower your creatinine, uh, regardless of if you're new to kidney disease or not. So you look at that diet, three nephrologists, the fiber, probiotics, and acid buildup. That was the last one, looking at those. Uh, by carbonate levels. So take a look at our other videos about those topics if you want to get more in depth. This is an overview. And to your best kidney health, everybody, and using those natural ways to lower creatinine. Bye.